hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i will show you how we can set up windows information protection in microsoft intune previously we have discussed microsoft intune introduction and i show you intune dashboard and some of the options in intune so today i have decided to explain you windows information protection most of the companies use windows information protection to protect company data and company information on the devices so if the device is unmanaged and not connected to the company that device will not be able to access company information either the device gets connected to company first and gets registered to the company domain then they will be able to access company data or information so let's go through the steps how we can set up windows information protection here we are in microsoft intune you can go to intune by entering intune dot microsoft dot com first of all i want to make it clear that before going to intune you have to enable automatic enrollment and you have to add users to automatic enrollment group like if you can see here i am in automatic enrollment and windows enrollment and mdm scope is set to one group i have set to in enrollment uh, mdm scope to only one group that all the company devices with e3 i have created this group in azure security group or i can create groups here for your understanding so let's create a new group i will name this group in tune windows users okay i will create this group so let's go to endpoint security and add this group to MDM scope, mobile device management scope, so that user will be the member of the group will be able to enroll their devices. So if you are you missed adding that group here, then user will not be able to add their devices to company profile so the group we have created was in tune windows user yeah so let me select this group here okay let's verify yeah the group is selected here so now hit save button after saving this let's go to devices and let's proceed with setting up windows information protection let's go to app sorry now in app let's go to app protection policies i set up here some of the policies so let's create a windows information policy for your understanding let's go to windows information protection let's name it here wip i can say windows information protection okay now here we can enter the apps we want to protect by mobile device management so in the allowed app we can add the apps from here if you can see there are many apps we can add them here 
so on these apps we want to secure our company information like microsoft onedrive like office 365 pro plus included outlook excel like word and microsoft edge so user users are usually using this app right so let's secure our data on these apps so if user are using these apps on non-managed device right or they will try to log in into these apps with company email on a non-managed device this will not work for them but if the device is registered that windows device is registered with company they will be able to log in into these apps and they will be able to work on these apps hit next okay <clears throat> now the next option is this policy only applies to windows 10 anniversary edition or higher this policy uses windows information protection to apply protection you can go to learn more about wip here so let's enable windows information protection mode there are three modes four modes sorry block allow our rights silent and off in block mode this will block enterprise data from leaving company protected app like user will not be able to share company data to someone external and they will not be able to save company data outside of company apps like user is working on excel word or outlook right they will not be able to save email attachment outside of onedrive they will not be able to save excel outside of onedrive as onedrive is connected to sharepoint so user will only be able to save company data to registered onedrive and a sharepoint in the second mode allow override in this mode user will be prompted when attempting to relocate data from protected to non-protected app if they choose override this prompt this section will be logged like they can override this section they can move data outside of company app but this section will be logged in in tuned logs you can see these logs here so <clears throat> if we select silent user is free to relocate data off protected apps these actions are logged like all these actions are logged but i don't think we need here silent or off if you want to allow user to do anything you can do silent or off and these actions will be logged in in tune logs so better what i suggest uh, we want to select blog for our company like a please restriction so data will only move around company apps with the user associated email hit next okay now the first option here is network parameter choose whether protected app can access enterprise data on your network we have to add here network boundaries right network boundaries for the app which are communicating directly with cloud right like onedrive if we save data into onedrive that is communicating with cloud if we save data uh, in sharepoint right if, if if we open excel and we are working on it and then we want to save it this will restrict us until we have added network boundary here with app compared we can add the list here so i can go to add i have to select here cloud resources and i will add all boundaries here so i have here the format of those boundaries now you can understand that we have to add app compact at the start and we have to allow sharepoint here different urls of sharepoint and outlook and attachments and like all about these apps sharepoint outlook and onedrive okay 
in the domain option here right i have written here domain domain and domain like here for example i have a domain company.com so i can enter here company right this is just for your understanding that this is the share this could be the sharepoint url okay so in sharepoint url you can simply copy your sharepoint url here so this is very important to add your network boundaries in windows information protection because user will be having problem if you do not add network boundaries here user will be having problem in saving excel and saving word documents into their onedrive or sharepoint so i will also copy this uh, format here right network boundary format in the video description so you will be easily able to understand and you will be easily getting this format from there also you can search in microsoft blog for network boundaries you can find it there please note this is very important to enter here correctly okay <clears throat> now we have added network boundaries so the next step is enterprise proxy server list is authoritative do not auto select enable the setting if you want to override windows auto detection proxy servers so we do not have any proxy servers in our environment we can allow here ip ranges so i am not restricting any ip ranges here right let's make it simple like user will be able to use or user will be able to work on any network so here we can enter a data recovery agent certificate to allow recover recovery of encrypted data like if the computer if uh, if the user is working on the computer and the data is encrypted and we have lost the encryption key or computer gets damaged and we can create a recovery certificate here to recover that data the next option is so i am not doing this as well so next option is prevent corporate data from being accessed by the app when device when the device is locked like when the device is locked we don't want uh apps to access the company data so it depends upon you what you need but i want to do it on right better to do it off because if user is working on some shared document right so other user will not be able to work on that so that's why better to put this off rework encryption keys on on row so this will cause encryption keys to be revoked when the device unenrolled from this policy like when device gets unenrolled from the users or from the policy or user get user disconnected the device so these are the encryption keys to be revoked when the device is unenrolled so let's keep it on show enterprise protection icon so i want to keep it on <clears throat> and this is the enterprise icon will be showing on the applications desktop applications like excel word teams onedrive so why i am turning in this on because this will show us that our policy is working on the applications right okay use azure rms for wip specify whether to allow azure rms encryption for wip so i will keep this off allow windows search indexes to search encrypted item so here we can allow or disallow indexing the item so it depends upon your company requirement that you want to turn this on or off so let's go to next and make it simple 
So if you remember, first I have added a group in MDM scope so that at least users will be able to connect their devices to Intune, right? So also here we want we have to add the group on which we want to apply this company policy so i will add the same group here to make it simple let me select okay we can also exclude groups here right we can also exclude group here let's see next and now we are at the final stage of creating this policy so just make sure to go step by step for all of these options and especially with network boundaries right network boundaries are very case sensitive and i will add those network boundaries into video description so you will be able to understand better so let's hit create so the most important last thing you will be very careful about licensing of the user if you don't have license assigned to your user this will make a problem right windows information protection will make a problem and user will get restricted so it's better to enable two things first the mdm scope and licensing and licensing then you can proceed with configuring windows information protection by going to apps and app protection policy here yeah. so that's that's it for today regarding configuring windows information protection and protect our company information on windows devices so my next next lecture will be about configuring a protection policy on android and ios devices thanks for watching keep watching keep subscribing and keep sharing